Now, if you're starting to feel the winter blues and want a nice warming dessert with a taste of summer, I've got something special for you here. It's my chocolate orange pudding. Now, when you taste this, you won't believe how easy it is to put together. And the amazing thing is, it makes its own chocolate sauce for you to enjoy along with the sponge pudding. Just win-win. To make this, I'll be using 100 grams of melted butter, 150 milliliters of milk, 250 grams of self-raising flour, together with a teaspoon of baking powder, 140 grams of caster sugar, 50 grams of cocoa powder, the zest and juice from this orange, three eggs at room temperature, 100 grams of milk chocolate. Here I've decided to use Terry's chocolate orange for the extra orangey hit. And finally for the sauce, I'm using 200 grams of light brown sugar, 25 grams of cocoa powder, and 300 milliliters of boiling water. To get yourself started, you'll want to find a lasagna dish like this, that's two liters in capacity or more, and then butter it really well because all of the ingredients are gonna go into this in just a moment. The other thing to do is preheat your oven just like that to 180 Celsius. And then over here, sift together your flour, baking powder, and cocoa powder, making sure there's no lumps in it. Then add in the caster sugar and give that a little mix together. And now all of our wet ingredients can go in. So let's start off by putting the eggs in that I've beaten already. The milk, the melted butter, and finally the zest and juice from the orange. And then just mix all that together until it's all smooth. And then just before you put the batter into your oven proof dish, fold through the milk chocolate that you've cut into chunks. Now at the beginning of the video, you might remember I mentioned a sauce, and now we're gonna make that. So simply mix together the boiling water, the sugar, and the other 25 grams of cocoa powder. And then pour all of that over your batter mix. Now I know that seems completely crazy and it looks a real mess, but trust me, it works and it tastes amazing in the end. So get that straight into the oven on a middle shelf. And after 30 short minutes, it'll be ready to come out of the oven. Then this is ready to serve immediately, maybe with some ice cream like this or some whipped cream. And watch everyone clear their bowl in record time and race back for seconds before it's all gone. I promise you that. I hope you've enjoyed watching me make this. If you decide to give it a go yourself, make sure you tweet or Instagram me a picture because I'd love to see it. And like always, come back for seconds soon. Mm -hmm.